More today about the new Omicron variant of COVID-19. Wisconsin has already recorded its first case. TMJ4 political reporter Charles Benson talked with the White House policy advisor, Dr. Cameron Webb, about what this new variant means for the holiday season. Give me your sense. Is the headline here more transmissible, but perhaps less severe? The, the headline is there's still a lot to learn. Uh, we've got some early signals uh, that suggest it may be more transmissible, especially based on what we're seeing clinically in terms of the real world impact in, in uh, South Africa. And Dr. Fauci spoke about that today in our White House COVID press briefing. But in terms of severity, I think the, the jury's still out. I think we have to maintain a, a healthy sense of, of, uh, of interest and concern uh, based on that. It certainly has some mutations that could make it uh, lead to more severe illness. And just remember, if it's that much more transmissible, that's more people getting sick, potentially more people being hospitalized. And so it still has a significant impact societally. So let's break it down. People who are fully vaccinated, how should they approach this variant? Yeah, so if you're fully vaccinated, that means you've had two shots of a messenger RNA vaccine or a single shot of the Johnson & Johnson, then the next thing you should do is make sure you're boosted as well. So if you've had a booster, you have your highest level of antibody response kind of ready to combat this, uh, this new variant or, or even the Delta variant, which is causing its own problems. And in that instance, if you have your, your highest level of protection based on vaccination, uh, the other thing is if you're symptomatic, get tested, right? And so that's important, uh, you know, at-home tests are widely available, PCR tests widely available. So make sure you're being tested if you are symptomatic. And then finally, if you're sick, stay home, you know, and especially until you know your, your status. Those are things that people should be doing. What you're not hearing on that list is to cancel your holiday plans, right? I think what a lot of people are wondering is, are we still able to engage? And, and our, our thought process is if you've done all of those things, all the mitigation and vaccination, then it's safer for you to engage. But at the same time, just be vigilant, make sure you're keeping track of what spread looks like in your community, 